Hey folks, Charles Sim here. And I wanted to talk to you about the new dagger from Netbait. The dagger is Netbait's foray into the beaver style bait, but with a few twists. Let's we'll take a close look at this bait here. You'll see it's actually a lot thinner, made up of a lot less plastic than your standard beaver bait. Uh, still has a nice thick shaft down the middle for to hold your hook um, but the sides you can see there's fewer ribs with more space between the ribs and less plastic this makes it a, a lighter slightly more finessey kind of bait i really like that uh, with the less plastic between the ribs you're going to get more water movement more pulsation throughout the water and a little bit more of a kind of wonder as the bait goes down a little hunt and peck uh, this bait comes in i believe six or seven different colors this is your okeechobee magic um, sorry my apologies okeechobee craw um, comes in all your regular other colors uh green pumpkin uh, black and blue blue flake black shadow sungill just about anything you can possibly want uh, like any other standard beaver bait the tail can be split very simply giving you a little bit more action but I personally like that tail together uh, adds to the kind of gliding action of the bait so I'm gonna cover two ways that I'm gonna incorporate this bait into my uh, my fishing um, the first one is the standard flipping style um, and I have this actually rigged up today on a bit of a lighter bait. Uh, this is on a little 3 8 ounce weight. Um, I have it rigged up light today because I'm going to be fishing around wood. If I were to be fishing slop or, uh, or heavy thick pads or something, I would jack that weight up to, um, to something like an ounce, ounce and a half. I've been told because of the thinner body and the thinner profile, it doesn't actually need as heavy a weight to get through the water. Uh, I got this rigged up on an EWG hook. Had a lot of discussion lately on uh, EWG versus straight shank. Uh, guys are saying they're missing a lot of fish on the EWG. I personally, I'm not quite experiencing that, so I'm going to stick. Or I'm going to stick with my EWG and. If I start to think I'm fishing a lot of fish, maybe I'll look at switching back to the straight shank. So for today, around uh, wood, there's not much weeds in this body of water. It's going to be a nice light weight, help that lure glide around, slip over the baits. The other one I'm going to incorporate with, and I'm really excited about this, I've started doing this a little bit more these days, is uh, I believe some guys would call it power shotting. And basically, it's drop shotting for largemouth. So this is on a seven foot medium heavy bait caster. Uh, I've got it 15 pound fluoro and basically it's your standard drop shot rig with the exception of a heavier bait or a, a heavier hook. You got somebody flying by here. Uh, the exception of a heavier hook and rig weedless. I can fish this around milfoil. Uh, around hydrilla it'll keep the bait off the bottom and i've done a few tests in the water and it's amazing how this bait kind of flows and sits perpendicular there um, this i have on a basic setup if i were to fish this say on a bed which i believe it's going to be phenomenal on um, i'd probably shorten that up to give the impression that 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 bait is a bed raider and uh, trigger that protective instinct of the largemouth but those are the two ways that I'm going to incorporate the dagger into my fishing. Take a look at the dagger. It's uh, available on the American Bait Works website. Use my code SIM-ABW. Get yourself 15% off. Um, I guarantee you this is going to put some fish in the boat. Hopefully we'll uh, do some fishing now see if we can pick up a few.